Hello everyone and welcome to my balcony garden. Hope you're all doing well. In today's video I'm going to be planting crocus bulbs, these crocus bulbs here, into this terracotta pot. This pot is about 13 centimeters. These, I've never planted these before actually, this uh, variety is called Grosse Gelbe which means big yellow. <laughs> um, I've got a photo here, hang on. This is what they apparently look like. Let's see in the spring if they actually show up like this. As ever, when you're planting bulbs, look on the labels because it's going to give you all the information you need. If you have a look here, this is the time that it's going to take for them to flower. So if you plant them in three to four months, you're going to see them flowering. They're going to be about 10 centimeters high. And you can also uh, plant them within grass and other plants. You can put them into borders and things like that. And they're loved by the bees. Winter all around. So you plant crocus bulbs basically like you would plant any other bulb. So I've got my pot here. You need to make sure that the pot has at least one large drainage hole like this. If you want to increase the drainage, you can also add sort of broken crockery at the bottom, but because this hole is so large and the pot's actually not that big, I'm just gonna leave it for this one. Drainage is absolutely key for bulbs. They have evolved in soils and in areas where they're very rocky and there's a lot of um, stones within the soil. So the soil is very free draining, doesn't hold a lot of water. So if the, if the bulbs are ever sitting in water, then there's gonna be a really high chance that they rot and then, you know, they die and it, it was all for nothing. So we have a hole in our pot and I'm gonna start filling my pot with uh, any good multi-purpose compost. What I like to do is add in some grit as well just to, as I mentioned before, really improve the drainage. So just schlep in the soil. Oh, someone loves me. Okay, and I'm gonna fill it to maybe about a third deep. When you're planting bulbs, the general rule of thumb is that you plant the bulb twice to three times the depth of the bulb itself. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna demonstrate what I mean by twice to three times the depth of the bulb. So say this is, you've got a wee um, crocus bulb here like this. Let's imagine that this line here is the top of the soil. So I put one crocus here, second crocus underneath it, and then the crocus that is actually going to grow, we would want to plant it here. So two, uh, maybe even a little bit deeper. Two to three times the size of the bulb. Like everything, unfortunately there are exceptions. So for example, tulips like to be deeper than that, even three to four times their size of the bulb. So again, just check the packets. It's all in the packets. So this height here, so maybe it's about 10 centimeters. So that is 10 centimeters now into my pot. So I have now got my perfect depth for the soil for the crocuses. Now I'm gonna to start to add the crocuses into the pot. Now, normally when you're planting outside in the free soil, you make sure you have a nice distance between each bulb, so maybe like 10, 10 centimeters. But with pots, you can really pack them in. That's what I'm gonna do now. So for each bulb, there's a top, which is this pointy bit here, and a bottom. So we want to make sure obviously the bottom is at the bottom. This is where the roots are gonna come out. And then this is where the crocus is going to emerge from. So we make sure that this is the bottom and then we just snuggle it all in. So I'm just gonna pop it in like this and, and sort of um, firm it down a little bit so it's nice and secure in the soil. Take another one and I'm gonna actually put them really quite close together. That's a big chunky one. And I'm gonna pop this one in here. So I think that is, I'm not, I don't wanna sort of risk it anymore. I think that's enough for this little pot. And now it's time to fill up the pot with more of my nice free draining compost. So I'm gonna do that now. Ooh. You are strong. You are healthy. You photosynthesize. Strong. You are healthy. You photosynthesize. 
And that is all you do. So now I'm going to label this because I'm actually doing lots of pots this year. I'm going to forget which one's which. Uh, so I'm going to label that as well. I'm going to pop this outside in a nice protected area because when we're growing plants in pots, they are not um, as insulated as they would be if they were grown in the, in the soil, in the open ground, which means they're more susceptible to freezing and damage through that way. I'm going to pop this just actually there on my balcony. I've got some little shelves. So a nice little uh, cozy nook on my balcony. I get some actually sun as well. So I'm going to pop it there and I'm going to give this baby a nice big drink just right after planting. And if we go through a dry spell, I maybe just wash her sort of once a week, but I mean, in winter it's gonna rain anyway. And just fingers crossed, loads of love. Hopefully it'll work out and we'll see it in spring and I'll have a beautiful show. So that is how you plant crocuses into a little pot like this. I am now off to plant some scilla bulbs, which I'll be filming and hopefully getting that out to you guys as well. In the meantime, happy gardening. Oh my God, that's so cheesy, but you know what I mean. And uh, hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>